Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya 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 Raya Namaskritya Naramcha Mandarotamam Devin Sarasvati Nyasam Tochaya Mutirae Astapesha Patrishu Nitya Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavatu Tamash Loke Bhakti Bhakti Naishtiki Idam Bhagavatam Nama Puran Brahma Samitam Uttamash Loka Charikatam Chakara Bhagavan Rishi Nishraya Saya Lokasya Damyam Sastanam Maha Kam Kolo Tivachalam Pantum Magai Tigrim Yathripta Mahamate Shikuru Tiyataranam Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Rabu Vindanam Dashiya Vedanama Shivasa Divorvata Vinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama Shukravacha, Evam, Evam, Bhagavatishto, Durvasa, Chakra, Shapitaha, Ambarisham, Bhupavritya, Tat, Padam, Tukito, Tukito, Akramit, Akramit, Sishukavacha, Sishukavacha, Evam Bhagavato Tishto, Evam Bhagavato Tishto, Durvasa Chakra, Shapitaha, Durvasa Chakra, Ambarisham, Ambarisham, Ambarisham Upavritya, Ambarisham Upavritya, Tatao Tukito Brahmit, der Vers ist nicht am Wort. Ah, das ist gar nicht am Wort. Gut. Wenn wir jetzt kein Wort dazu, dann äh, lesen wir ein paar Verse. Aber wir reden ein paar Verse. Das ist noch ein Wort für den First Couple Lands. So, this uh, new chapter from Shima Bhagavata, Nine Canto, Fifth Chapter. Text 1 and so on, entitled The Russian Moon is Life's Dad. Was bedeutet das auf Deutsch? The Russian Moon is Life's Dad? Martin? The Russian Moon is Leben and Spirit. How you would, what you would say about spare? Because it's very important. To wash the moon is life spared. Ah, the life was spared. Was the life was spared, yes. Yeah. What was, what means spared? Uh, not killed. <laughs> well, the life was spared because... Uh, yeah, that's, that's the meaning of it. But what this means, the meaning of the word? Uh, it's better. Uh, saved. Huh? Or like saved, you can say. Verschont. I don't even know the term. Verschont. Schon gehört du mal? Das Wort? Nein. Verschont. Saved. Also. Spared. How do you say? Beschützt. Beschützt. Beschützt oder verschont. Das heißt, auf Schweizerdeutsch heißt es mit, 
mit, ein, mit einem blauen Auge davon gekommen. <lacht> Verstehen? Ja. ja. Gut. Auch verstehen? Mhm. Gut. Dann machen wir mal das mhm. Gut, und dann eine Translation und dann wir read more verses. Shukadev Goswami said, When thus advised the Lord Vishnu, du warst ein Muni, who was very much harassed by the Sudhasham Chakra, immediately approached Maharaj Ambarish. Being very much aggrieved, the Muni fell down and clasped the king, king's lotus feet. Clasped the king's lotus feet. That's period of unklammert. When Duvasa Muni uh, touched his lotus feet, Maharaj Ambarish was very much ashamed. And when he saw Duvasa uh, attempting to offer a prayer because of mercy, He was uh, aggrieved even more. Thus he immediately began offering prayers to the great weapon, the Sudarshan Chakra, of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Maharaj Ambaris uh, prayed, O Sudarshan Chakra, <coughs> you are fire. You are the most powerful sun, and you are the moon, the master of all luminaries. You are water, earth and sky, you are the air, you are the five sense objects, sound, touch, form, taste and smell, and you are the senses also. Almost favorite of Ajunta, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We have thousands of spokes. What is spokes? Words. Huh? Words. Spoke. Spokes. <coughs> thousands of spokes. Speichen. Ah. Speichen. Von einem Rad. Ein Rad hat, ein Rad hat Speichen, oder? Huh? Many thousands of spokes. Hier yeah, ein großes Wagenrad. Radiatre zum Beispiel. Kann natürlich nicht so viel nicht speichern, so. kann man nicht so sehen. Aber doch, gibt es auch. Kann. Aber es sind tausends of spokes. Tausends of spokes. O Master of the Material World, Destroyer of all weapons, Original Vision of the Personality of Godhead. I offer respectful obeisances unto you. Kindly give me shelter. And kindly give shelter to be auspicious to this Brahmana. Kindly give shelter and be auspicious uh, to this Brahmana. O Sudarshan Vil, your Dharma, religion, your the truth, Satya. Uh, you are encouraging uh, statements. You are sacrifice. You are the enjoyer of the fr fruits of sacrifice. You are the maintainer of the entire universe. And you are the supreme transcendental progress. What is progress? Huh? Pro promise. Progress. Mit wie, wie Probes. Das ist ein Probes. Der Transcendental Probes in the hands of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. You are the original vision of the Lord and therefore you are known as Sudarshan. Everything, everything has been created by your activities and therefore you are all pervading. Progress means uh, aromachat or, or uh, power.
Körpers. The word Sunderschan means auspicious vision. Deutsch? Auspicious vision. Glückverheißende Mission. Ha? Glückverheißende Mission. Nein, Vision. Ah, Vision. Sicht, glückverheißende Sicht. Eine glückverheißende oder glückbringende Sicht. Das ist ein Schaden. From Vedic instructions, we understand that this material world is created by the glance of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Sa Aikshata, Sa Asritshata, Supreme Personality of Godhead, glanced over the Mahatattva, or the total material energy. And when it was uh, agitated, everything came into existence. Western philosophers sometimes think that the original cause of creation was a junk that once exploded. If one thinks of the junk as the total material energy, the Mahatattva, one can understand that the junk was agitated by the glance of the Lord. And then, and thus, the Lord's glance is the original cause of material creation. Here, yeah, very uh, nice story is uh, explained or narrated by Shukadev Goswami. This uh, story should encourage the devotee or devotees, Vaishnavas, who fully took shelter at the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. But this story also should, I would say, uh, give a warning to, uh, to non-devotees or any person, even devotee, if you're on the path of bhakti and you want to become devotee, aspiring devotee, it should give a warning to all that we should uh, not offend Vaishnava or devotee who is uh, surrendered or who is surrendering who, was, who is surrendering his life not only his life his body his mind his words his family his possessions his money everything that he has his, his uh, intelligence his uh, qualities is engaging in the service of the Lord. Actually, such a devotee, a devotee who fully is surrendered to Krishna, with this, as mentioned, with body, mind, and words, is a liberated soul. That's described in the Varupa Goswami, Nectar of Devotion. Yasya. So everyone, the devotee who is uh, engaging his body, means he who dedicated his life to Haridas, become Haridas, servant of the Supreme Lord. Ihayasya Haridasya Karmano, Karmana Manaso Gira. Karmana means his activities, his abilities, whatever karma has given him. He's engaging in the service of the Lord. Karmasa Manasa, the mind. 
Sabai Maha Krishna Padar Vindra. And Gira. Gira means birds. So he or she who is surrendering his activities, karma, here in this verse, karma means activity, not the karma result of the reactions of past life, but your pre 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 present activities. Manasa, the mind, is very whimsical, unsteady, and full of desires, always accepting something that he likes and rejecting something that he don't like. So the mind focused on Krishna and Gira, Giri, Gira, the words. Vacha Veda, Manasakrodha Veda. Also Rupa Goswami, in like of instruction, he says, he who can engage, who engages the six urges, sex training of the body in the, uh, in the service of Krishna, who can control them and engage them in the service of Krishna, he, he is considered a Swami or a Goswami, means somebody who controls his senses. He doesn't mind if he is a renunciate or a Krihasta, a, a king, a Brahmana, a Shudra or even a dog eater. Everyone who engages his senses and tries to control the senses through devotional service, he becomes very dear to the world. Krishna he promises in the Uddhava Gita, in the 11th canto, that uh, I devotee who is, uh, dedicates everything to me his whole life, his family, and everything that is dear to him, engaging it to me, he becomes very dear to me. And I'm dear to him. And he is dear to me. I'm giving myself, I, to such a person, I cannot give. He will never, never be satisfied with anything material, not even with liberation, mukti. There's no interest. So what can I give him? Yeah, I give him my own self. I personally come and give myself to him. And I protect him at any time. That's the conviction of the devotee. That's his faith. Sharanagati. Sharanagati means six things. <laughs> things. Anu kuliasa sankalpa, prati kuliasa vachanam, rakshishvatite vishvaso, kotritve varanam tata, atmanik shepa karpanye, shatvita sharanakti. So there's a sixth process, process of uh, sharanakti, surrendering. Here in Krishna consciousness movement, uh, we are following the path of uh, Vaiti Mark. Vaiti Mark. <coughs> Vaiti Mark, Mark means following rules and regulations, trying to gauge the body, our activities, our words, and everything that we have by regulations in the service or in the mission of the Supreme Personality of God and Sri Krishna. Therefore, we learn Sharana. That's the that, uh, very important thing that we should never forget if we be, become devotee. Or not to become devotee. We have to learn how to become Sharana, to, to surrender. Sharanam. Sharanam, Sharanyam, Kato Mukunda, Paririti, Paririta Kartam. So the surrendering process 
starts with engaging everything favorable to Krishna's service and rejecting that what is unfavorable. Always feel yourself under the protection of the Lord. Rajishvatita <coughs> Vishvaso. When Lord Chaitanya traveled in South India, he was singing Krishna, 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 Rakshamam. O Krishna, O Krishna, 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 please protect me. Rakshana, Rakshamam. And Pahimam. And please maintain me. So the devotee is convinced that Krishna will protect him and he is maintaining him. He's the only maintainer. He can maybe work, earn money to supply our bodies or our families. But if the Lord is not uh, sanctioning it, then we have no food or we have no result, although we work, although we, we act, or you maybe become unemployed or the crisis will come, collapses everything. No more money. No more money in our day's time means no more food. So we're finished. So everything is depending on, on the money. So Krishna, Krishna consciousness, they learn how to become dependent on the Lord's mercy. Also, such a big temple to maintain. It's quite a thing. So many rooms, even one room to maintain, it's difficult to clean it, to pay the rent, or to buy it. So it uh, needs work, so, and uh, a lot of things to do. So the devotee, if he now is a Grihasta or lives in the temple or in the forest or wherever, he has, he has to learn how to be, feel dependent of the Lord, that he will maintain, that he will give, that he will protect. Krishna tells in the Gita, he who surrenders to me, Sarva Dharnam Parityacham, Mam Ekam, Sharanam, Sharanam. Mam Ekam, Sharanam, Raja, Raja. Antvam Sarva Papebio, Moksha Shami, Masucha. So I will protect him. He surrenders, he who surrenders unto me and makes me his goal. And shelter, I will maintain, I will give him what he needs. So this is Krishna's promise. And Krishna always fulfills the promise to his devotee that he will protect, that he will maintain him. Therefore, the devotee becomes fearless. Abhayam. Because he takes shelter from the fearless lotus feet of the Lord. So, Shukadev uh, Goswami. He wanted to, uh, told the story about Ambarish Maharaj, who was a king. King means big house, palace, control, servants, sense gratification. Everything is on his, is available for him. But here his king, Ambarish, he was fully dedicated his life, he fully dedicated his life to the service of Krishna, to the service of the Supreme Lord, beginning with the mind, Savai Mana Krishna, Padara Vindayo, Vachamsi Vaikunta, Kudana Marani. So fully, fully he engaged his mind, not in sense gratification, but on enjoying his kingdom, but engaging in devotional service. That's the best mind control. 
to engage in devotional service. To please Manuhara, Krishna, who is attracting the mind. So the devotee, like Maharaj Ambarish, he, is completely, he was completely fearless. He was engaging in devotional service all the time. Although he had servants who could do the service to the deities, and he could rule the world or his kingdom. No. He personally, every morning, worshipped the deity. Devotee. I mean, it's devotee. Before he does any activity in the day, ruling or acting or doing something, first thing that he's doing is doing worship. He worships the Supreme Lord because he knows without the mercy of the Supreme Lord, I cannot gain any good intelligence, no, not the power, not the blessings. No, I cannot attain anything auspicious or good. Of course, people work hard and think only by my hard work the result will come. Yeah, maybe it will come if you have good luck. Or maybe it will also not come if you are not so much lucky. Of course, for a devotee also like that. A devotee also can work for the service of Krishna. Sometimes uh, it's going good, sometimes not so good. Like uh, pra uh, the Prahlad Maharaj, he had to go through so many sufferings due to his father, Rani Kashibu. He wanted to kill him, poison him. So many things get rid of his own son. Prala tolerated uh, the torture of his own father. Pandavas, Queen Kunti, uh, and the Pandavas, her five sons. So, so many tribulations they had to go, so many difficulties. But Kunti Devi, uh, she took it easy. She took it as Krishna's mercy. She said, Oh Krishna, now you leave us to go to Dwaraka from Hastinapur, leaving us alone. Now we are the kings, you helped us. You arranged everything so that everything is uh, again in, a, in our rightful claim. That means uh, we, we are the kings of the world. Everything was established. All these demonia kings are destroyed in Kurukshetra. But now you're leaving us and called it Varaka. Leaving me and, my, and, and Draupadi and uh, my sons back here. Oh, I wish that all these uh, problems, all these troubles that we went through through all the time will be all will come again and again. Because I know when the trouble will come, and that when we have went through all the troubles, we were always with us. But now we have no more trouble, now we leave us. <laughs> so that's the devotee. The devotee should not think, oh, I only need the help of the Lord if I'm in trouble. Oh Lord, and we remember, please protect me, please help me. And we're immediately remembering his promises to protect my Baba. But then when if the time is going good, when the time is going good, the difficulties are over, then we have tendency to forget. Become lazy, don't take it so serious anymore, the shelter. Sixth sheltering process, fully dedicating our life. Pulling, feeling on the protection and the maintenance. Now we feel humble. Atmanik Shepa Karpanye Shatvita Asharanapati. Be humble, weak and humble, and fully surrendered with everything. We forget. As soon as it's getting better, we forget. But the devotee, he always remembers Krishna. Like Sri Prabhupada, one time, <laughs> he was in, a, in an airplane, his servant was with him, he was 
was in the early days. So, uh, you know, if you, if you go in an own, other country, especially if you have Indian passport, like Jai Padaka Maharaj, that's such a big passport. You have seen passport of Jai Padaka Maharaj? So, ma so big. Mm. Our passport is so big. You know? This passport is big. Because in India, an ever there's an, uh, if you have an extended passport, or if it is filled, you know, because of the stamps, visas, uh, then uh, no more place, so they, they just attach another one on it. <laughs> <laughs> and on that another one, mm. on that another one, and then you have a whole book of passport. And because he got his, uh, his visa, his visa was sti is still valid, very, very, uh, still going on, and uh, his uh, endurance of the passport, like 10 years, but in 10 years, you know, he travels uh, 20, 30 times around the world. Copy? Understand? Huh? 20 or 30 times around the world. No, so, and therefore, in, uh, in, in one year, the passport is already full. Because wherever he has to go, because he has Indian passport, somehow the Prabhupada wanted that he stays in India, and preaching there. <laughs> he, uh, so he became citizen of India. And then he had to get, give up his, uh, I don't know, Canadian or American passport. I think Canadian passport he had to give up because uh, in India you only can have one passport, not all the nationality. Some countries are like that. No double citizenship. And <laughs> so he. Uh, he gave, uh, he had to cho cho choose, and then it, so he, he accepted the Indian citizenship. But then still he traveled all over the world, so when, wherever he goes, he had, needs visa. There had so, so, so much uh, big book uh, he had of, uh, in the week of uh, for every country. So how I came to this point? Prabhupada. Huh? Prabhupada, yeah. <laughs> Good. <laughs> So uh, Prabhupada was in, uh, in, uh, in the airplane, his servant next to him, so he has to fill out a uh, formula, you know, to enter a new country, especially America, they have thousands of questions. You know. And they ask, you are drinking, you are alcoholic, mm. you are taking drugs, you would, you had some criminal, past, <laughs> criminal, criminal, uh, how to say, uh, past, past, in the past, you had some criminal, uh, saying that you are punished. And the servant, you know, stupid, he asked Prabhupada. So he had, he had to fill out for Prabhupada. So he read, you know, you did one time some criminal activities. <laughs> You were drink one time took alcohol. You are alcoholic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert became quite upset, you know. He <laughs> became quite upset, you know. And then he, he told he told his disciple, "You have to understand. In my whole life, you know, I never broke any of the four regulative principles." <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of questions, you know? Sarva could actually uh, feel it out by himself, he should know. <laughs> the, what, should, what criminal history Prabhupada should have? <laughs> Is he alcoholic or taking drugs, LSD or hush? No, of course not. But anyway, so the devotee is uh, completely pure. Uh, he's, uh, he, has, he is completely free of the, who is following the four regular principle. He's liberated soul. And he, does, he doesn't need any, he has no desire for anything in this material world. So, that therefore, Krishna tells the Buddha also that he who surrenders to me and who is deep, becomes very dear to me and makes me my life and soul, or his life and soul, becomes very, very dear to me and I'm dear to him. So, with such a devotee, I'm always present.
is there no loan, he's always under my protection, I'm really taking care. I will give him what he needs and maintain what he has. That's also promise Krishna gives in the Gita. He who uh, surrenders unto me, who makes me the center of his life, I will give him what he needs and maintain what he has. So the world is not of need of anything in this material world. He doesn't pray to the Lord for anything material. He only prays to serve, to serve, for service. And this is our meditation, Japa. And we chant Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Hare Rama. It means, you know, please engage me, please engage me, please engage me, please engage me, please engage me. But if you are not engaged, then of course, chanting Japa means not, has no more meaning. We lose interest in chanting. We lose the taste in chanting. Because we don't have a goal, we have not a, a focus in the chanting. In, in the, when we chant, we always need a, a focus. We have to have a desire no. to chant. Because if we are chanting just in the Nirvana or in the Brahma Jyoti, no, there's, no, there's no meaning. Then of course we are mel merging and melting and then we we'll lose the taste in chanting. But if we, we chant with uh, conviction and with uh, desire, no? it's not that the devotee is desireless. No? He is full of desire, but for the service of Krishna. Therefore, it's a karma, no desire. Because he takes Krishna's desire and makes it his desire. So Prabhupada gave us this nice uh, sadhana bhakti process. And in this sadhana bhakti process, chanting is included. Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Archanam, Vandanam, Dasyam, uh, until up to Sakyam and Atmani Vedanam. It's all included, nine, nine, nine uh, processes of, the, of surrendering, beginning with hearing. So, as uh, new devotees, we have to dedicate our lives in hearing, in chanting, and in serving Seva in a regulated way. So, in this way, our negative habits will gradually become purified into good habits. So Sri Prabhupada gave us service in the temple. He gave us a <coughs> process in this way to purify ourselves. And he also gave us service in the mission to go out, harina or distributing books, preaching, activities. So uh, both activities Prabhupada decided to go that it goes on simultaneously. <coughs> Bhagavad Mark and Pancharatri Kividi. Although Bhagavad Mark is also pan, a part of Pancharatrika, it's Harinam Sankita, it is preaching or sharing this knowledge with others. It's also part of Pancharatrika Vidi. But the pro problem, the point is, Harinam or preaching or glorifying Srimad Bhagavatam, serving Bhagavatam, <coughs> chanting the Holy Name, always functions at any time, at any place, any circumstances, even without a temple. With temple, without temple. Temple service always needs strict rules and regulations. Chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, reading Srimad Bhagavatam, preaching the, pro the process of Bhagavad Vidhi, process of devotional service, doesn't need any rules, no regulations. It can be practiced at any time, any place, any circumstance. You don't need Brahminical qualification for it. Therefore, it is the recommended process of this age, Harinam Sankrita, to hear Holy Name, chant the Holy Name, Glorify Krishna by his through, through hearing regulation of Bhagavatam. So in this way, the devotee 
that all in Bhagavad Gita, uh, he becomes very strong, he becomes very enthusiastic, very powerful, because this process is very dear to Krishna. Krishna Shakti Vina Nahitara Without becoming empowered by Krishna, well, we cannot expand Krishna consciousness in this world. We cannot even change for our own self. <coughs> so one has to be, become empowered. Therefore the devotee, when he prays, he prays for service, chanting in the prayerful mood, please engage him, please engage him, so that Krishna empowers him. You don't have to pray for empowerment. And you should not become proud and uh, think you're, you're uh, empowered now. No, the point is if you, become, if you feel empowered now in uh, Krishna consciousness by doing anything, uh, and the power goes down. So therefore the devotee is always meek and humble and tries to humbly ser serving his, uh, his spiritual master and the devotees and the Supreme Lord <coughs> and the mission of the spiritual master and the Lord's mission. In this way he always stays humble. He always have, have to understand we are not Ishvara, we are not masters, we are disturbance. This is Ambarish, great example, Ambarish Maharaj, example of full surrender, Atmani Kshetva, Atmani Vedana. He fully dedicated everything to the service of the Lord. Therefore the Lord protected him. And the Russian Muni was not protected. Because he committed offense. Although he was a powerful yogi, mystic, mystic yogi, he had all cities. There are many cities. Asta city. Becoming very light, penetrating people's minds, cursing somebody, turning somebody to ashes. Uh, taking, producing something by his mystic power. So he has many mystic powers. Both of them 26 mystic powers, 18 secretary and 8, eight main cities. And the Vasavuni as an incarnation of Shiva, Rudra, he yeah, had practically all cities because Shiva is, uh, how to say, Yogeshwar, the Lord, the master of all yogic powers. So he was an incarnation of this Rudra. Therefore he became his Ashutosh. Rudra is Ashutosh. He easily can be pacified or pleased. He easily can become angry. Demigods also. Demigods and, and sages. They easily can become angry, easily pacified. They all they cannot become angry and somebody doesn't take a book or somebody is not uh, uh, appreciating your attempt appreciating your attempt so you cannot become angry and, and curse him <laughs> for Prabhupada the Volti is more more great than a mystic yogi because of, or a demigod because a demigod or a mystic yogi they can curse because they cannot tolerate some, sometimes. Therefore, that's, for them it's very, very difficult uh, combat, the, the mood of compassion, the audarya of Lord Chaitanya. Lord Chaitanya had such a great audarya, such a great uh, mercy, compassion. Only Vaishnava can have. Actually, the Lord has such a great compassion to the fallen souls, although He created this material world for the forgetful living entities who want to be separated from Him. He gave them freedom. And He also gave them the process. He comes Himself, He sends His devotees, He sends the process down to save them, to bring, bring them to, back to Him, back to the, our real nature, the, the nature of servant of Krishna. 
Well, that's his great compassion. The world is very, the world is, is compassion because the Lord is supremely compassionate. His paraduka duki kripa moya. He suffers because of seeing other people suffering. And this is, a, is an uh, impulse for him, uh, for, the, for the preaching. So that the world is very, very eager uh, to very kind to all living entities. And he's very eager to spread Krishna consciousness movement for the benefit, for the benefit of all. So, therefore, Prabhupada told a devotee who is, uh, feels compassion to all the living entities, even if, he's, even if he's hurt, even if somebody is not appreciating or blaspheming him, he should be tolerant. Is very great. To us, but to us, because he was under the Prudra principle, although great soul also, he was a very great personality, partial incarnation of uh, Shiva, Rudra, the Rudra principle. So he was a great yogi, great mystic, and he was very proud of it. He knew it because he was world famous, to Rasa. Whenever Durvasa comes somewhere, you know, people who knew him, they run away. <laughs> and they hide themselves because they were afraid, you know, oh, Durvasa is coming. <laughs> like Durvasa also one time appeared in Vrindavan. Uh, no story. Durvasa appeared in Vrindavan. So when the gopis saw Durvasa coming, you know, they immediately ran away to their houses. They were afraid Durvasa was coming. Durvasa only. Oh, I don't want, I'm the small girls, you know, I don't want to be concursed by him. <laughs> case later, that he's not pleased with us, to see him, seeing us. But then Radharani, she stayed, greeted the sage, gave him a reception. And Tuvasa became very, Tuvasa Muni became very pleased with her, and he gave her a blessing. Give another round blessing. Dear girl, you are very, you know how to receive guests. Even me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm very pleased with you. I give you a blessing. Uh, that uh, whatever you cook, whatever you cook will always taste very nice. Will, will always be like nectar. And he who is eating it, you know, he will have a long, healthy life. So that's how Brother Ali became famous in Vrindavan. And Mother Yashoda heard about this blessing of Durvasa to Brother Ali. And then she thought, oh, I also would like to have Brother Ali cooking for Krishna. Because uh, she had a blessing, and I would like uh, Krishna gets nice, tasty food cooked by Radharani, who makes him very, but you can stay long, long, long time and healthy. Because she was always cared you know, for the welfare of Krishna, for the benefit of Krishna. So she arranged every day that Radharani in the morning came to the underground from Yavat came over. Some servants from the underground went to Radharani's home to bring her over. And then she was always preparing Krishna's favorite uh, preparations. Different kinds of cakes, and sweets, Amarita Kaili, and so on. Became very famous, these cakes from Radharani. So the uh, to was to uh, was uh, is uh, he can give blessings. Uh, he also can curse. So in this case, in Amparish, he came to the wrong person. So he uh, cursed the wrong person. So because uh, he came on the on the Dwadashi day. For those of you who don't don't know the story, I will have now John came on the Dwadashi. 
And you know that Badis here to break a codice because the Ambarish Maharaj was fasting on a codice. Vaishnavas should propose, it's a, actually every human being, civilized human being, should fast on a codice. And if you cannot do that, at least you should not eat grains or beans like that, vegetables. Should not eat. Or eat only one, day, one time in the day. But the best is fasting completely. Either with water or without water. Your child. There's many, some devotees are doing this in Russia, in India. Many devotees are doing it. I know. I cannot do. And Prabhupada also told uh, most of his followers we cannot do that. So he gave us the process that we should all just not eat uh, grains and beans in this day. And chant, try to chant more and remember more Krishna and like that. And even go and distribute books and go and some Mostly the devotees who are following Kadesi Vrata, they stay all time in one temple or in one place and they chant and don't want to eat anything. So Silvra uh, in uh, but Vaishnavas it's uh, described that they not it's recommended we should fast. Nambarish he followed this uh, rule of the vow of the Kadasi every second week on the eleventh day of the moon, rising moon and also diminishing moon and should take this fast of the Kadasi Vrata. And then also break the fast because if you don't break the fast on the proper time then it it's as he would, would not follow the, the, the vow. So it was an important rule. So the, the, so the king wanted to break the fast, but then at that time an important guest came. To Russia, Muni. He came as a guest. <laughs> so now he was in problem. He just wanted to break the fast because it was the last moment. What, what to do? But at the same time, we also have to receive a guest. It's a similar important rule, especially for the king and the Grihasna. So he was completely in a dilemma. What to do now? To follow the fat, uh, to, to uh, break now a courtesy, the rule, or uh, break the rule of receiving a guest? Especially a Brahmana or a sage. Mm, what to do? So he, the arrangement was made, you know, that the Vasamuni when he came, he told, okay, I will go and take bath, and then after that I will eat. So, uh, because if the guy comes, we should offer him some food. So, so then the Ambarish thought, okay, that's very nice, so uh, take the bath, because we should not eat in impure state, without taking bath, we should not eat. So he he waited, but then he didn't come. The time came more and more near to, to break the codice. And there's another rule, you know, if a guest is already here, you know, you cannot eat before him. Because that is another violation of a rule. So you see there's so many rules. Yeah, it's very difficult sometimes to follow all the rules. And then, and then it also I have to break the fast. You know? So how to do it? So he took some water because he followed dear child. Dear child at Adasi. If you follow no drinking water, no eating for the whole day. So you can break the fast by just drinking a drop of drinking a few drops of water. And this way you can break the fast. So he didn't eat, he only drop, he wanted to break the fast by drinking a drop, a few drops of water, a handful of water. Then Ambarishi did, uh, did this, but then the sage, when he came back, he knew already that the king, he, uh, he broke the fast. 
He didn't wait it for him to come. <laughs> to Mattel. So he became angry. Mm. And he wanted to uh, you know if um, uh, the was it gets angry, it becomes very fiery, it can really devastate, destroy you. But then uh, Ambarish fully took shelter to Krishna on the Lord. And then the Lord sends Sudarshan Chakra. And the Sudarshan Chakra is the Lord's uh, weapon. Uh, he has uh, written weapons, two weapons especially, the chakra and the club, uh, to protect his devotee. The lotus flower, uh, and what is the thought? Conch. And the conch, after uh, the devotees. Uh, uh, the symbolizing the devotion, the lotus and the conch. Chakra and the club, the chastisement, demons, or to protect the devotees. So Krishna, Krishna sent it down his Sudarshan Chakra to help, uh, save his devotee, protect his devotee <coughs> from the curse from Govasa. And then suddenly to his Govasa he had to run away. Never in his life he had to run away from anyone. And run for his life because of the shan, shh, fire circle, you know? fire wheel of the Lord followed him wherever he went. And he went all over the universe. He went to Brahma Loka, please save me, Brahmaji, please save me. Oh, I see Sudarshan is behind me. No, no, go away. Otherwise, my kingdom also will be the, my, my planet also become destroyed. Then he went to Shiva Loka, oh Shiva, please protect me. No, go away, Sudarshan is coming. <laughs> <laughs> then he went to even to Vaikunda, uh, Vishnu Loka, and take shelter in Lord Vishnu. And then Lord Vishnu told, No, I cannot give you shelter because you offended my devotee. The only one who can uh, forgive you and protect you is my devotee himself. He will, to whom you offended. To go down to him and <coughs> most devotee is very dear to me, so I cannot help you. So he had to go. So the Vasa had to go back to the earth and take shelter in Ambarish Maharaj. And as soon he took shelter, Ambarish Maharaj, as a natural, humble devotee of Sharanagati, who is following the surrendering process, humility, he always thinks himself humble. Not Ishvara, not controller. He has no revenge feeling. Yes. How Sudarshan got you out. <laughs> he was not uh, happy about that, you know, that uh, the Duvasa got his punishment or his uh, anxiety and almost became, became burnt himself because he doesn't feel any bad to anyone. He doesn't feel any, he doesn't wish any, anything bad for anyone. So he only is well wishing and he prayed, prayed to the Lord, please, my dear Lord, please, my dear Sudarshan Chakra, who is not different from the Lord. The Lord's symbols are not different from Krishna, from Vishnu. Therefore, the Pujaris uh, are recommended if you want to worship, worship Vishnu, then don't worship Vishnu alone. You should also worship his symbols. Like Sudarshan Chakra, like the club. Or like and also his devotees, his uh, dear associates. So Vaishnava means you don't worship uh, Krishna alone. We also worship his Parfanelia, who is no different from him. We also worship his uh, dear associates. And this is our problem. Why are we in the material world? Because the original enemy is to become enemies of Krishna, or Krishna's Parfanelia, and Krishna's devotees, who are always with, with the Lord. Because we are envious on them. This envy is a long time ago. No? And we, when we had, when they got back, uh, and we were in the, in the, also in, the, in this uh, realm, but we could not have the access to the in, inner circle, then we can maybe become en envious. Oh, I'm not very intimate devotee. I'm not very close to the Lord, like uh, Shita <coughs> and Sudan, or like Radharani, or like Chandravali, or like Lalita and Vishaka. I also would like to become like that. This is our problem. 
We cannot become like that. We can, we can only become Anubhata. Anu, that means followers. Uh, followers of the, of the great liberated devotees. So we should, if, if you want to come in contact with Krishna, don't try to come in co contact with Krishna directly. Try to become the, the humble servant of the servant of the servant, of the most dear servant of Krishna, the very intimate, eternal, liberated, Radhatmika, but uh, devotees of the Lord, and should become servant. Don't try to become direct servant. No. Therefore we are in trouble. Therefore we are in the material world. <coughs> And here in the material world, we all want to be the center. And therefore, we, we suffer. In the spiritual world, spiritual, spiritual world, everyone is in place. Why? Because everyone feels a direct connection with Krishna. Although he is not directly in front of Krishna. But if I serve the servant of the servant of the servant, you feel even more ecstasy as by the direct service. That's the secret of bhakti. So don't try to become direct servant, become the servant, try to become the servant of the servant of the servant. That's perfection. And this we try to follow. This mood of uh, servant, servant of the servant of the servant. So we are not Krishna das, we are Krishna dasa, 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 anu dasa. So we are anu. Anu, we are very we are followers. So Ambarish Maharaj, he, uh, he prayed to the Sudarshan Chakra, please pr protect, please save the life of this uh, person. Yeah. And he recognizes the Sudarshan like the Lord himself, is the origin of all lights, the sun, the moon, electricity, the elements, the eyes may have. And so the controlling deity of the light and everything that is connected with the vision of form, sun and moon like that, all depends from the sun. It's the completely transcendental. It's not a material product. It's Krishna's eternal, the Lord's eternal weapon. For protecting his devotees. And the Sudarshan Chakra always stays on the side of the devotee for protection. One time when Lord Chaitanya, after he took sannyas, when he wanted to go to Jagannapuri, first time from Navadvi, and some of his followers, they went with him, Nityananda Prabhu and Chakradaranda Pandit. Uh, Chari Ratna and so, so the different associates of Lord Chaitanya, they followed him. They wanted to go with him to Puri. And so he went to the other side of, uh, of, of, a rip, of the river. So there was a ferry, a, 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 a ferry who brought them over. But then on the, on the, on the, on the boat, Lord Chaitanya suddenly started to it was dark. It was dark. So Lord Chaitanya suddenly started to chant and dance. And the boat came in this balance. And the ferryman, you know, he got completely panic on this devotee. Lord Chaitanya's devotee is also became panic. And they were all afraid, you know, all to cross over a river, a dark, dangerous river. Dark, it's very dangerous, you know, there's no light, nothing. Who will protect us? Lord Chaitanya, then Lord Chaitanya came to this external sense when he saw his devotees in anxiety and he called, Just see, why you're afraid? Sudarsha Chakra is there, he shows us the path and he's protecting us from all dangers that become concealed on the other side. So the Sudarshan Chakra is the, always on the side of the devotees. Nambari Maharaj, he had personal experience that the Sudarshan came. Of course, we should not now, now think 
oh, I can't do any nonsense now or go on a mission and then uh, the Lord, the Lord Sudarsha will come and if somebody is not, uh, is a little demoniac, you know, he will come and cut him. <laughs> no, the Lord, the Lord he doesn't pray. Because even Andarish, he was not praying. He was not praying, hey, Sudarsha, come protect me because you promised. No. The world is always <coughs> help feels always helpless and dependent on Krishna. And somehow the Krishna will help the devotee, will give him protection, give him maintenance, give him the power of success so that uh, his seva, his service in the mission uh, will become successful. So this week we start marathon. Huh? Now already? Monday. One week early. No, we start on Monday. But it's not counting, huh? This week? It went out. This week? This <coughs> new week is not counting as marathon. It should it's be. only a warm-up. Warm yeah. Huh? Yeah. The real counting is first, the first uh, Monday in December, huh? Yeah, we, we didn't... Um we were not in contact with the German devotees, so we defined to start at the 22nd of November. This is already counting? Yeah. As a result? Yeah. That, that means it goes then until the 24th? Yeah, they like to do five uh, not, weeks. Not until the end? Yeah. Not the on the end of December? No, no. Like previously? Yeah, yeah 24th. Yeah. Oh, okay. Because it means... Oh, no, that makes sense. It means you start now <coughs> and uh, go until 24th December. Highly count. Then it's like the last day of the marathon. So marathon means that we make a special uh, endeavor, special uh, uh, attempt to please Sri Prabhupada's dear desire, very hard desire, to distribute his books. It's already long history. I think the first marathon was actually not planned marathon, it was in 71 or 72. It was not a planned marathon, but the world is so, the Christmas time is very good time. All business people know this, you know, Christmas time is a good time, therefore they're selling so many things, you know, make special sales, you know, and opening even like Manor, for example, in Bahnhofstrasse, opens until 10 o'clock. At Saturday, uh, even Sunday open. Uh, that means business people they know about this uh, rush, you know, the Christmas rush. People are uh, very eager to buy presents for family, children. But <laughs> so everyone gets something, a nice present. You know, that's a tradition. You know, to give a present. Oh. Of course, not everyone is into it, but anyway, many people still are in this rush. It's also public, I would say, an, uh, social druck. One expects a present, a present, a geschenk of a Weihnachts, under a Weihnachts uh, baum. And that was actually the original uh, marathon start, but only for three days. From the 21st of December until the 24th. Three, four days marathon. And then the world is says that they dissolute and then they found out that not people are buying, they want to buy last presents, last minute presents, and, uh, and they buy whatever looks nicely. Book. So the world is using this time also. Because although it's not a material thing, it is a mission, spiritual thing, to give actually the people the best present, yeah. much less gift, best gift, yeah. is a book about Krishna, Vaishnava literature. Because it is stated, everyone who has a Vaishnava literature in his own home, yeah. he has Lakshmi Narayana's guest. Good fortune is there, present, is there. So, 
should actually not uh, think about how to make a business in this time. In this time, we should only pass out this much less gift. These nice sweets, nice cakes uh, in the form of books. Uh, so and making these very people happy and give them the most nicest gift what they can have, Krishna. Uh, so if uh, for be using this time, pass, passing out these books to as many as possible, and go out also longer than normal, and more devotees are also invited. Uh, who normally don't go out to participate in this marathon. Previously in uh, Prabhupada's time and also after that, it was very popular that uh, everyone went out and only minimum personal stay back for maintenance of the deities and all others are went out and distributed at least for some time or some hours or some days and this is actually the power behind the marathon because it is uh, many devotees are taking part many devotees taking part and make and, and try to make the same the same effort the result is actually not so much important if you distribute uh, 100 books a day, or, or 1, or 2, or 5, or 10, it doesn't matter. It's like a marathon, you know, like a marathon, a marathon love. And a marathon, a marathon love, uh, where so many people are taking place, uh, part on, on it, on the, on the marathon. And it's not, they, they don't run for, to become number one. I don't take part because I want to become number one. I know I'm not trained enough to be and like a professional marathon runner. He's trained. He, 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 he runs every, every day the marathon and even more <laughs> to get his body trained and his mind. So he's, uh, so we know, we, 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 I will not, not, uh, not become number one, doesn't matter. But the main thing is, no, I was a part, I'm a part of it. I, I participated on it. That is the uh, glory of it. We participated on it. And relish some of the fun, of the nectar of going out. It's also good training. Book distribution is a good school to learn how to train our mind, our senses, because maybe we would like to do so many other things. Especially it's winter, it's maybe not so warm outside. I think, okay, better stay at home in the, in the warm and stube, uh, in the computer sitting and, and uh, light go out now. No? We try to, that this is an, an, uh, some, some vow or some determination to do it this one month. Not to stay back somewhere in the warm or in a nice place, but to go out and distribute. It's a little tapasya. The tapasya is very nice. If it is done for the pleasure of Krishna, it becomes nectar, it becomes the greatest nectar. There's so many, so many nice experiences one can have if one go, goes out and, and participates in this uh, family business of Prabhupada Marathon, book distribution. And this way we call Prabhupada Marathon since uh, some time. Previously it was called Xmas Marathon. Xmas means uh, Christmas Marathon. But then later on, we thought, why oh, we should uh, call it Xmas or, or uh, Christmas marathon. It is, uh, after all, we do it for pleasure of Prabhupada. So we, we call the, the marathon was called Prabhupada Marathon. Or the Ungetauft. From Christmas, from Weihnachtsmarathon to Prabhupada Marathon. Because we do it for the Pleasure, Prabhupada. One time we also thought, oh, 
why only make marathon in the, in the winter? Maybe we should, because winter is tough, it's too austere, maybe we'll do the marathon better in summer. So one time, oh, well, I think it was only one year or two years, the marathon was, uh, was for verschoben, of Juni. <laughs> Because I thought, oh, Juni is very nice month and more warm. And... But then Juni, you know what is, and always raining. And it's even worse. <laughs> and, the, and the result went very, very much down. Because uh, in summer, people have not the same interest in buying something like in the winter. Some, some psychology. So the winter time, especially before Christmas time, is very good time. So now everyone is looking for some presents, for some nice things, you know, to, to give us a gift for Christmas, you know, for themselves. Even if they have no fa family members, to give something, you know, then you can tell them you can give it as a present, as, as a gift for yourself. <laughs> you know, so gift for yourself for Christmas. So anyway, it's a nice opportunity to participate in it. Books are available and time is also good, place is good, people are good. <laughs> Money is here, the blessings are here, most important. <laughs> And everything. We only have to uh, take it. Sometimes we pray, 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 Krishna, 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 praying, please empower me, please empower me, let, uh, let me become instrument. But ultimately, uh, how can Krishna empower you if you don't do anything? Just wait until he empowers you. <laughs> so empowerment starts by doing something. <clears throat> like last, last Saturday I told you know, Arjuna was not empowered just, uh, just by sitting there on the chariot and uh, asked Krishna, so now you can do. And you're my charioteer. And Krishna is the charioteer, so you, you, you can do now, you can kill all, them, all of them. I will just tell you where to go. And you are the Lord, and you have the Sudarshan Chakra. <laughs> so you can kill them all there. And I just, will just hear, like Prabhupada in one lecture, in the teaching of Vin Kunti, there from Koyi Vin Kunti, Prabhupada narrates the story of, of, uh, of this uh, Arjuna. And Arjuna thinking, now I'm, I'm sitting here and smoking marijuana. <laughs> <laughs> And, and uh, you, Krishna, you can do the vision that. So I'm just, I'm just waiting here until the job is done. <laughs> no, it's uh, we have to do. Krishna told, I will not fight. I will not personally take care or part in the fight, in the battle, Kurukshetra, because it was his promise. I will not fight. Um, but I will become your charioteer. You know how we can, how we can, that uh, Krishna became charioteer of Arjuna. You know, story? Nothing else? Huh? Huh? Paula? Uh, I got the Duryodhana from Krishna. Die Wahl gelassen. Okay, ja, gut. Gut, dass ihr meint, thank you. So, there was a. Because Krishna had one Akshahini. Akshahini means a whole division of an army. So and so many food, thousand of food soldiers, so and so many thousand of elephants, so many cavalry, so many infantry, and so many different kinds of weapons. No, I like that. So that's a Akshaogini. That's an exact number of a division described in the Dhanu Veda of the Shastra of uh, 
weaponry or of uh, yeah, like to declare a war like that. <laughs> then then the, um, there was Krishna and Lakshmi, and he had himself. That was the Val or the Kval. That was the, the two cho choices one could have. Either we could have him or the Akshahini. And he told Duridan and Arjuna, so the next morning when he come to my room, you tell me what you like. Me or the, or the, the army. So the, the camp, first Arjuna camp, Huh? Arjuna to hear something? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, Arjuna, but then the only down came. So, uh, Arjuna was sitting, he took his place at the lotus feet of, of the Lord. He was still taking rest, sleeping on his bed. So Arjuna, he was on, like a devotee on his lotus feet. He was the first one who entered. Then Duridan came, he saw Arjuna, he saw already near home. But he's full. He's on the feet. I will go to, on his head side, the head of the Lord. So he took his place on the head side of the cop side from Krishna. <coughs> so but Krishna is lying on the back, on his pillow, so I'm kissing. So when he woke up and opened his eyes, first person he saw was Arjuna, not Urida. He asked, oh, Arjuna, you are here. So now you can have a desire. What do you want? Me or the army? And Arjuna said, my dear Lord, only like to have you. Urida, ah, very nice. That means to me, the army is left. So I'm going the army. Therefore, um, Duridani got the army of, of Krishna and, uh, and, and uh, Arjuna got Krishna himself. But he told, I will not fight. I will become your charioteer, charioteer, Kuchin father. Therefore, he's, he became famous as Partha Sharati. Sharati. Sharati means chariot driver. The chariot driver of the Partha of Pandu, of, of uh, the sons of Pandu, son of Pandu, that means uh, actually the son of Prita, Partha is in the Partha, Prita, Partha, son of Prita, Kunti, Partha is the son of Pandu, son of Pandu, Arjuna. So he, and he told, but I will not fight personally, but I will protect you. And I protect my devotee, and I will drive the chariot. You tell me where to go, so I will do it. So, Arthur Sarathi is worshipped in daily, daily temple. There's a deity of Arthur Sarathi. Because the nearby is Kurukshetra. Hastinapur was previously the capital. Pandras and the Kurus. So Krishna uh, was, uh, although Krishna was not fighting, he was the charioteer, he was protecting his devotee. And he made all the arrangements. So, but Arjuna had to fight, he had to fight, he had to do whatever. And then Krishna empowered him, he protected him, he made arrangements. <coughs> like when the Chayadrat, Chayadrat was one warrior. He was the cause that uh, the son of of, uh, of Arjuna was killed, Abhimanyu, in an unrighteous way. So Chayadrat, uh, 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 Arjuna took the vow that Chayadrat has to keep, has to die next day before someone said. If he doesn't die, if I cannot kill him until sunset, I will enter fire myself and kill, give up my body. And 
was the vow of the determination of Arjuna. So when Jaya, uh, uh, but when Jaya Drat, we heard about that, and all the soldiers on his side, of Uriadan's side, uh, Kaurava's side, they took special protection from for uh, Jaya Drat. They circumambulated him from all sides, you know, with shields and <laughs> many circles. I mean, many circles around him. But, and they made some kind of a chakra, chakra performance of a uh, of a uh, division, uh, like it's called a chakra. That means uh, nobody could enter this circle. It was so much protected, like a Sutrajan chakra would be around him, about him, you know, around him. But then, listen now what happened. <laughs> Some, the sun almost set. It was only a few minutes before sunset. Uh, and the sun, and, and the Arjuna was ready. He, got, came, and he had no chance to enter through this uh, performance of this chakra uh, uh, arrangement. He could not get through. He tried and tried and tried, but uh, he was so, this uh, chakra was so nicely protected. So Krishna had to make a trick. He called Sudarshan Chakra. And he made an artificial sunset. The sun, the sunset, artificial. Earlier, earlier than by nature. Just look that the sun was setting, going down. And he called Krishna, and that time, whenever the sun set, there was no battle. Everyone started to stop. They went back to their tents and had some discussions and some rest, drinking, eating, rest, preparing for the next day. There was no night attacks. No night attack. It was forbidden. When sun sets, stop fight. When sun rises, you can start again. There was no chance to fight in the dark, in the night. So now Jayadrat and all his thing, all his uh, alliance, his so the soldiers were protecting him. They were jubilating. Oh, the sun set, the sun set. Now uh, Arjuna had to end the fire. Yeah. And everyone, the circle, the chakra circle opened. Yeah, because there was no fight. Anymore, they all wanted to go to the tank. I mean, means Chayadrat was not protected anymore. There was not any, anyone in the protection. And what happened? No. The sun suddenly was visible again. It was a mystic trick of Krishna that the sun actually was not setting. It was only covered temporarily. And the, the sun didn't set. It was a mystic trick of Krishna. And now Arjuna had a, was a Kinderspiel for him. It was very light, easy for him to kill Chayadrat before the sunset. And when he killed Chayadrat, he wanted the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> so there were some instances. Also, Bhishma, Bhishma for example. Bhishma was uh, promising that Arjuna has to be killed on that day. Became very ferocious, very, very angry on Arjuna uh, because Jayadrat was killed. So he thought, oh, this was very unrighteous, it was an unrighteous trick, what happening. So I will kill this Arjuna tomorrow. I will take the promise. And the seventh day of the Kur I think it was on the seventh day of the Kurukshetra war, he took this vow, I will kill this Arjuna unless Krishna will protect him. Uh, that he has to come with his own jet wheel. And I want to see him. I want to see the wheel of the, of the, of the, of the Lord. And he keep, keeps it in his hand and he runs towards me. So, the, and uh, Arjuna almost became killed by, by uh, Bhishma, but then, because Krishna also took uh, as a promise and my devotee will not become killed, I will protect him. So he 
die Flüssigkeit in der First Hand of Bakatami came down from the cart, took a broke the broken wheel of the of the chariot and he ran, you know, like an angry lion you know, towards his enemy to smash him. And when Vishnadev uh, saw the, the Lord you now running towards him, you know, in very angry mood, on the way he lost even his upper garment. And his body was all over covered, you know, by, uh, by blood, you know, streams of blood. And, uh, and in his fiery bright eyes, you know, when, when he saw the Lord in this picture, you know, then he became so much pleased, he immediately surrendered to the Lord. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. So now he can kill me or protect me, whatever you like. And that was the... Of course, if Krishna didn't kill Bhishma, because he surrendered. He stopped, stopped fighting, but he protected his devotee Arjuna. Okay, I stop here. Hare Krishna. Krantara Sima Bhattatam Vijay. Maybe one question? Yeah? Could you please explain how is it possible that a dog eat uh, can be a ghost swam? You told you in very beginning that yeah. even a dog eat Aho Pata Smapajat Garyam Yachivat Vatata Namatu Byam Te Pusta Paste Chuhur Shashnur Arya Ramanutu Namakri Namti Ite. In the third canto we can read in the I think the twenty third chapter, Deva Huti. She tells to to uh, Kapitadev to her son, Oh, how glorious are those who are chanting your holy name. Ahopata Svapacha Tukarya Svapacha means a dog eater. Even a dog eater who chants your holy name, that he performs all sacrifices, take you step past the Hichu, who are charged with Arya, he performs all sacrifices, he performs all, all kinds of tapas, tapasya, he performs all, 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 all Vedic studies. And he's the best of the Aryan cultures, the Aryans. So how great are those who chant your holy name? Even a Svabhaka. You can be a Svabhaka and a dog eater by your Prarabdha by your Karma in the nectar of devotion. You can read at the beginning. There are two kinds of karma, Parabdha and Aparabdha. Aparabdha means non-manifest karma. Parabdha means manifest karma. And uh, Krishna and, and the Puranas, Padma Purana says all kinds of parabdha, the different stages of parabdha, of the manifest karma. And ultimately also the unmanifest karma become, become, uh, become destroyed by bhakti. By the fire of bhakti. Keji Kedala Bhakti Vasudev Parayana. All kinds of karma become destroyed. Beach, Palmuka, and Kutasha. Uh, sleeping stage, seedling stage, fruit stage. And also the unmanifest stage. All stages of karma become destroyed. So karma is like a plant. It starts with the with the consciousness, with the desire. Before you make perform an act, sinful or pious, you have to have it in mind in yourself. And that's not manifested at that time. It's still a conception, a concept in the mind. And then from the mind, from the subtle, it comes a desire who becomes manifested into action. And then this action is like a setting a seed. If you have a desire, it sets in a seed of a karma, karma beach. And this can be pious or an impious. Papa or a papa this karma beach. And by watering this seed of karma, it starts to sprout. Huh? And then sprouts. And the sprout 
gradually, gradually will grow to a plant and will be, uh, uh, be a fruit, alvoka, pala, uh, the fruit, the fruit of karma, uh, karma pala, karma pala, any kind of karma. So all these karmas have become destroyed. An example is given a dog eater or a hunter, like Mrigari, he was a hunter in, by habit, and a cruel hunter, you know, he was only not completely killing uh, animals in the forest, but half killing them. It was a great pleasure for them to see them, how they suffer, die <coughs> of elendige art and weise, in terrible way they had to die. That was his happiness. But then Naran Muni came and they preached to him and they told him that you should not do that. Because there's uh, too much karma and these animals will come and they will eat you next life. And the hunter was scared, but how I will maintain this is my profession and I like it. And then Narada told him, I will give you a process. Have faith in me, I will give you a process, and then you will see, you don't have to maintain and kill animals. And that you become happy, become happy now to see them dying like that. I give you a higher taste. Paratrishpa, I give you a higher taste. So I give him the process of bhakti. And by following bhakti, so the hunter, he changed his mood. Change his karma. He was not hunter anymore. In the end, he could not even uh, do a harm, harm an uh, insect, an ant. And the friend of uh, of of um, um, of Narada. Akira, Akira Muni, when the when the link was Akira, the one who is always traveling. Anyway, one Muni, Akira, one French devotee, what's his name? Akostya. Huh? Harvata. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Harvata. Harvata Muni. So Harvata Muni. He, the, he was back visiting the hunt, they were visiting the hunter when he was Vaishnava. Then uh, he saw you know, the behavior previously he killed animals, now he could not even harm an ant. Even an uh, Ameise called the kind of light to feel. So he wished to see off the leg of the side, so that he was trampled and tötet. Bewusst oder unbewusstes Karma. Karma. So then uh, Bharat, he, he was amazed, you know, oh, here we can see your great influence, how to change the habits, habits of, a, of a person, you know, to turn him into a hunter, cruel hunter, in, into an, an Vaishnava, Ahimsa, non-violent personality. So he was very impressed. The other example is dog eaters. And even dog eaters you know, who, who become uh, devotee give up. Of course, dog eating, they don't start. They don't uh, eat them just uh, a Sonntag's fast. <laughs> 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 so they give, they give it up. And take up the process of the devotional service, eating prasadam. Chanting the holy name. And in this way, such a dog eater can become even better, a bra better than a Brahmana. Brahmana, Chuvanama, Krinanti, Eche, Ite. He becomes even better than a Brahmana because a Brahmana who does, don't know the Supreme Brahman, Krishna, is not, not as great as a dog eater who realizes the Supreme Brahman, Krishna, and dedicates his life to him. So he becomes better than a Brahmana by God. Although the Brahmana by God is uh, higher situated than the dog eater. Dog, dog eater is the lowest, he's Mecha Yavana, uh, he's untouchable. But he can become 
very purified, very, very pure person, he can even perform yajna. That means everyone who chants the holy name without undergoing Brahminical initiation, you are actually qualified to participate and perform yajna. But normally that needs initiation. Now you may ask, so why we cannot perform yajna if you are not because I'm not, if you are not Brahman initiated, you cannot perform yajna. The, the uh, answer is because, because uh, Pra Prabhupada uh, introduced his uh, varnas, ashramas, uh, in Iskon, so that uh, Daiva, Varnashram, so that they can engage according to our qualities in Krishna service. But Varnashram never means, you know, service, just Varnashram without service to Krishna. The service always has to be fixed, Varnashram has to be fixed on Krishna. If Krishna, if uh, Varnashram is not fixed on Krishna, it becomes Asura Varnashram. So we have no interest in this process. But Prabhupada introduced already the Daiva Varnashram in Iskon, therefore, he gave, sec he gave second initiation even to those who are not Brahmanas, even not qualified for Brahmanas because they just were chanting Hare Krishna Mama Mantra. He gave them, he considered them qualified. And he gave initiation to the, his disciples. And this process is still going on initiation. They're making Brahmanas. And ultimately, everyone should become Brahmana. Brahmana means he who, who, who serves the Supreme Brahman, who knows the Supreme Brahman, Krishna. He's actually a Brahmana. So that, that's the first thing that we have to establish for our Brahminical culture, education, the process of uh, education, of teaching Vaishnava Shastra and the culture of Vaishnavism. It's a Brahminical. And this everyone should follow. If you, even if you are a Vaishya by qualification or a Kshatriya, or even Shudra, or an so-called untouchable, doesn't matter. Because in Kali Yuga, everyone is anyway fallen. It's like Chayavana, or like Shudra. And Shudra is actually a very good qualification, because uh, Shudra is simple, and it's considered the best caste in Kali Yuga. Best caste in, Brah in Kali Yuga is not a Brahmana, by information, Bala. So Skibus, Brahma is not the best class, it's not the best qualification because the Brahmanas are cursed in Kali Yuga. Ibisan, when he got the choice, you know, he had it, uh, after he surrendered to Lord Ramachandra, he, had it, he, he desired, you know, I want to again serve in future lives in Kali Yuga when you come again. But I don't want to be a Brahmana, I don't want to be a king, and I don't want to be a Vaishya. Because all these three castes are condemned in Kali Yuga. Because in Kali Yuga everyone is Shudra. Kala Shudra Sambhava. Therefore the best qualification in Kali Yuga to serve the Lord is to be Shudra. Because a Shudra is faithful, he learned, you know, to become faithful to his master. That all the other cast didn't learn. They all think, I'm the doer, I'm the maker. But the Shudra is faithful, he knows. I cannot do anything without the Master. So if you become a Shudra of Krishna, working for Krishna, serving Krishna, that's the best qualification. And this also in the second canto is stated. Uh, the duty of Brahman is that and that. The duty of Kshatra is that and that, and the uh, duty of uh, Vaishya is that and that, and the duty <coughs> of the Shudra is to become the servant of the Lord and the Vaishnavas. <laughs> so that's a duty. Therefore, in Kali Yuga, the best is you know, to uh, not have any qualification. 
And the end, unfortunately, nobody has any qualification because everyone in Kali Yuga who is paid, who is employed, is Shudra. Because the Brahmana, Kshatriya, and the real, even the real Vaishyas, they are employed and they have no payment. They only know how to do it. How to produce money, how to produce results, how to guide people. In the Kali Yuga, who, who, is, who is like that? Who is not employed? Who is not working for money? Even the big money makers and the, uh, the oligarchs uh, of, uh, of big companies uh, here, all over the world, they just work for money. Although they don't need it anymore. They will <laughs> have to work have to produce more money. Although they don't need it. They are already milliardaires and multi-milliardaires and uh, how many milliards they want. You know? They will not become ha more happy. They will not become more satisfied. Because satisfaction doesn't lie in the money. Money has the, has the quality to pacify you. But it also can very much disturb you, make you, make you sleep, sleep, sleepiness, sleepless and nervous and even come to the side on the point of suicide. And for the world is they are not into money making, into management and this and that uh, career to arrange make get, get a career, they are just in the devotional service. And by devotional service may so many nice results will come, but the devotee always still stays the servant. That's the safest position. And to realize that the best school was called the one Sankita, take part in the marathon. Because there you cannot think you are the controller. Because as soon as you control, think you are the controller, then you get the club. <laughs> and because you are false ego, and the false ego, and the controller, and the enjoyer, then you suffer. That's a good school, Bala. You should go on marathon this, this time. Because you always try to escape. Although now we have good excuse, back problem. <laughs> <laughs> came, on the, came on the right time. Good excuse. Sorry, back problem. Then you should support that others can distribute. <laughs> Just see my mommy, always young, always fresh. A mother of three, of three or four children and more. Taking care of so many. Has to maintain herself alive at sea and the mother. Still going out on Sankrita. No? Every day. I received some gifts and okay. a short message from the BBT. I don't know if the devotees are still inspired to hear it, otherwise, I will just distribute the gifts. Of course, we are inspired to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> from the microphone. You are the voice of the BBT. <laughs> the voice of the BBT is speaking. Are you not? So, dear devotee, please accept our humble obeisances, all close to his divine grace, Srila Prabhupada. In his prayer call to Bhagavad Gita 5.25, Srila Prabhupada writes, quote, The sufferings of humanity are due to forgetfulness of Krishna as the supreme enjoyer, the supreme proprietor and the supreme friend. Therefore, to act to revive this consciousness within the entire human society is the highest word for work, unquote. Srila Prabhupada repeatedly and lovingly begged, ordered and encouraged his followers to help him distribute his mercy in the form of his books. It would be good for us and good for those we meet. Srila Prabhupada expressed his desire to a disciple in 1970 like this. So try for this, to give all men this Krishna philosophy and many real devotees will come with us back to home, back to Godhead. Unquote. Another quote. 
Please take part in the Prabhupada Marathon in whatever way you can. Whether you can distribute only one book or a thousand, please help people meet Shri Prabhupada in his books and give them the chance to come with us back to home, back to Godhead. Every book distributed has the potential to change someone's life, so be creative and think, quote, to whom could I give a book, unquote. Shila Prabhupada once told a devotee couple in the Philippines that his mission was to make the entire universe Krishna conscious. There is service for all of us in such a big heart of desire. So whether, you, so whether you are like the spider kicking bits of dust into the ocean to help build the bridge to Lanka or Hanuman, there is room, room for you to participate in the Prabhupada Marathon and both receive Shila Prabhupada's mercy and share it with someone else. There's another quote from Srimad Bhagavatam. There's no comparison. There's no literature throughout the universe like Srimad Bhagavatam. There's no comparison. There's no competition. Every word is for the good of the human society. Every word, each and every word. Therefore, we stress so much on this book di distribution. This was an lecture on Srimad Bhagavatam 168 in Los Angeles, January 5, 1974. So, with a deep appreciation of your enthusiasm for distributing Srila Prabhupada's transcendental teachings, we beg to remain your servants at the North European BBT. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Marathon Ji! Jai!